Okay, so here's the inner mechanism of any gorilla, magogo, bear, um, Frankenstein, whatever the fuck you think about dancer that has this movement. I'm gonna show you all how this thing is built. I've already reassembled this one right after uh, a slight check, which was unnecessary because it was perfect. I just had to clean a little bit some things in there and that was practically it, you know, rearrange a couple of wires, but it was practically great. So first of all, I'm gonna show the head of the Santa right now. <coughs> As you can see, it's a regular type of face if you see it from the front, but from the back, it was supposed to have hair and they actually burned it. it was, it's been actually burned, but you can, you, there, there's hair, there has been hair, and you can actually see it from here. Um, just like any other Magogo, uh, blah blah, whatever, it has in the mouth a little screw right here, which makes it a lot more like secure. Now here is the thing that I don't know how it is in the others. It has two screws, one at each side. And of course the mouth mechanism is practically identical to, you guessed it right, any other gorilla that sings and dances and moves the mouth. Now the thing is, to this part right here, there's a little hook where you actually hook up this. This is the arm, the arm wire that uh, attaches to the arm with the microphone, to the hand and it goes through here. There, there's a way it has to be like, and then there's two screws that you gotta tighten up, and that's how it's kept. This little piece of foam, before you ask, is from the back. It actually goes right here. It's glued to the head block. Might be just for, <coughs> for uh, you know, the fur or any, like not the fur, the uh, the the cloth not to get stuck in between there because if you guys know this entire block is screwed right here as a matter of fact the screw was actually stripped so right now the screw that is stripped is holding a little piece that I'll show right now and the screw that was holding this piece will be the new screw because it's perfect so I've said before it's a spring loaded mouth and you guys see it can it has to go up and down up and down if if, if the cloth gets stuck there it can fuck up the toy so yeah. Another thing, a little improvement that I've made is I made these little two holes which were not there before. I actually poked them with a screwdriver because the thing was glued before. The glasses were literally glued. The wire was straight and the glue and the um, and it was glued with the hat. You can see the facial discoloration. It's it's kind of sad that it's discolored, but oh well. Now I'm going to show you all the hands. Here's the hands. Believe it or not, I actually sliced my finger um, trying to open up the microphone hand, but here it is. It has three parts, and uh, the, believe it or not, actually, the, the tip is also a, like a separate part. It's a nice detail. And of course, here we have the hat hand, which I can already see how they probably made it in the Magogo ones that have a hat. If you guys see, there's a little peg right there. I believe there could be a screw or a peg going through that little hole. I really don't know, but it's a probability, I really do not know. Now, this is one of the feet, it actually broke a little bit, so I'm gluing it when I take took it apart. Here's the thing, it's not going to be a pleasure to disassemble the feet, because the feet have a strange way of being assembled, and I'll say right now, you cannot disassemble them unless you take the the leg out first, and that's nearly impossible because it has these snap locks that are extremely hard to take out. If you guys see right here, I had to snap the piece inside mine. Here's the uh, screw holder that goes all the way to the back foot, to this little part here in both feet. And I actually had to break mine off and then glue it back because you know, at the time I did not know with the first one and with the second one I had to do it because it's nearly impossible to take it out. So yeah, basically my personal uh, thinking about this is that they just make, you know, they just put all this, all the, the, the clothes in, then they just put the feet, they put the hat hand, and they, you know, they put the head with the hand and everything. It's, it's, it's neat. It's still neat. Now it has a big speaker, but not big as the Zodok big, it's actually smaller. I could say Millennium Robot size, probably, some people might know it. 
or a regular Magogo uh, size. And just to say something about it, I like the fact that the battery cover is actually hinged, okay? And yeah, I made a little, a little tap because the original one was broken off. Now I'm going to show you all the inside. Oh, no, 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 wait. I think I showed this already, and if I didn't, I'm sorry. But here's the mouthpiece. Now you're going to be like, I see paint underneath. And this literally, this literally lets you know that this mechanism, like the, in the factory, they probably just make it. They paint the mouth and everything on everyone, and then they just say, well, this is going to be Santa. This is going to be whatever. Because if you take this off, it's the mouth of a Magogo dancer. It literally is painted pink. And this is just the rubbery cover that is hot glued on, which I will actually super glue it afterwards. Because, you know, I just don't. It's not it's not gonna hold it in. And if you guys can see, yeah, I actually did clean the the beard on it. Here's the hat. Now the thing that kind of that kind of pisses me off is that it's made out of a cheap fabric. It's not like a good fabric, but it's like a kind of a weird semi-cheap fabric, which doesn't really make sense. Um, what else? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. The box, I've already shown it. Somehow it is an actual traditional Christmas. I did not know it was a traditional Christmas one because, you know, traditional Christmas, I thought it was a legit company or something that would make legit... Uh, you know, toys like that. And I also have a sitting Saturn drum that it's also made by traditional Christmas. So maybe they just grab the companies and tell them, hey, can you do this for us? Yeah, we can. And they just do it how they can. And there you have the results. Now, moving on to the mechanism, there's uh, one, two, there's four screws, actually five, because there's a fifth one holding the body block in. And uh, you take those five off, just like always, and you open up the back, which can, it gets nasty after a while. There we go. And this is basically what you find. Now, I was, oh shit, I was a little wrong about the uh, video I made before, because I thought this was old enough to have the, you know, microphone type speaker, but no, this one actually has the, the other coin clap sensor that most other toys have. Then what else? Well, pretty much the board. It's pretty damn simple. It's uh, what other what every other one has. Little board with a microchip hanging from a place right there, if you guys can see it. And yeah, that's a, that's a transistor covered with some sort of insulation. That's the speaker transistor, if you guys don't know. And it tends to overheat, I'll say that. The transistor for the speaker tends to overheat, so I'm not going to use it that much as I thought I would, but I'm going to use it anyways, because nothing has happened. I doubt something ever will happen. So, here's where I'm getting to the little piece that I said about. This is the screw that was on the head block before. You guys see it's fucked up? Okay, I, I just removed it with heat. And I did not really give a fuck, so I never am going to take apart this leg part again or anything. It's just, it, it, it can stay there without any issues. And for the mere fact of it, here's how the entire mechanism works for all of those who wanted to see uh, one of these type of movements. This mechanism swings from side to side. This has a lever that it's attached to the arm and makes it move the opposite way, like that. Kinda, I know I'm not supposed to take these type of references, but it's kind of like the Yes Entertainment TV Teddy that I used to have. I'm, I'm, I still have it, but it's in pieces and I doubt it's ever going to be back together, but yeah, you get the point. That type of mouth movement, or that, that type of movement that literally just makes one move this way and the other one the opposite. Now, here. Um, as well, there's another lever, which I can actually relate this a lot with the ones that tap their feet because they have a similar one inside. Um, it's not the same. It actually has like two triangle shaped things instead of being completely straight like this. But it is something like that. And uh, basically this moves to the side. It has a peg attached to it. And then there's this little part, which you can see the screw coming up from the crotch. 
that attaches to the leg. And that's how you get the iconic movement that you want. Um, then of course here's the piece that makes it swing. And uh, here on the back, this is not a real switch. You guys probably were thinking, hey, this is a switch. It's not a switch, it's actually a tin. I'm nowhere near kidding. This is actually a fucking tin. Um, you see, there's no, there's nothing uh, soldered to the watt, to the uh, contact, to the battery terminal. And you can see there's a, if you guys can see carefully, right there, you can see a little tin that, you know, the switch is just like any other switch, only that it's not that type of module. You guys can see there's like a little peg right there. It's a little hard to watch, but that keeps it either one side or the other side. And literally when I do that on here, if you guys can see, the tin went down. That little, you know, the edge of the tin comes out. And, uh, no, not comes, comes out. It goes down and and it makes contact. So I believe that's perfectly all that I gotta show about the toy. As nobody has ever actually shown this one on like pieces and things, I just decided I had to. Um, other than that, there's nothing really to say about it. I really hope I get the Magogo one someday and I would, okay, yeah, that's 15% battery. I thought the, I thought the memory ran out of, I was gonna be like, what the fuck? Um, but yeah. I mean, I hope that one day I get the Magogo that sings uh, Tick Tick Tack just like this one. And, you know, it's, it's, it, it, there's a possibility. If there's a Santa Claus, there could be a Magogo around somewhere. So yeah, that's practically everything. The next video will be the toy functioning like new. So thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you all in the next video.